Uh, welcome to Coastal Forager with Craig Evans. Uh, we are in this lovely beach again in Pembrokeshire. Today we're going to see if we can get and uh, cook up some rice and prawns hopefully. But today, special treat, we've got grandchildren. Here's Kaylin. Hello world. Yeah. As you can see, we are going to go to over there and go right. into the water and get my feet wet. Well done. And then we've got Josh. Right, hello, right, and then we've got little Zoe. Yeah, say hello, say hello, hello, righto. And here's Teo again, and we're going to go down and see what we can catch. Right, right we'll pick this stone up now, and see what's underneath it. Wow, look at that! Oh, look at that starfish there. Look, two starfish, you put them in there. there look. I want to send them free. Send them free later on, look. There we are. See them go in. See them? Bristle stars, they are. They're pretty, have a look underneath, is it? See underneath them? Yeah. Yeah. Put them back where they're from, is it? Put them back under there. Go free my fish. Let's stone out. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. See look. That's so cool. See that? See it? See, it's a feather star. One of those, feather star. And there's a little sea squirt there, look. And if you look for there, see that lovely starfish? See him? We'll pick him up now. See him? See the nice shape on him? Do you know him? Always put the stones back. So yeah. We've got a shiny fish now, right? See the see the big mouth, big big lips. He eats barnacles and worms and stuff. Yes, we put him back. Put him back under the stone, eh? And we got a different fish now. We got, we got a show goby. Yeah, we're trying yeah. to eat the fish. Yeah, his mouth is smaller, see, so he just eats worms and things. There. We've got another shiny. Back in there. And this nice, see the pretty colour? Starfish, bristle star. I don't hold it. Say how much I've got. Back with that. Now we've got a nice little shore urchin. And small species of uh, scallop like uh, animal. Put him back. Look on the other. What have we got? Oh, that's nice. Look at that little uh, orange scallop shell there. And some top shells. And uh, what else is there? Little white crest crabs. Another scallop there, look. And a uh, tiny one there. Lift this up. Some uh, crystal stars, two there. And quite a few of these uh, broad claw porcelain crabs. But as always say, always return the rocks. Let's call this little butterfish now. It's also known as a gunnel. Very slippery, that's why it's called a butterfish. Now these fish are normally from the north uh, of, of the world. They're Arctic species, cold water species. So uh, in this particular area, we're lucky to have uh, some cool species from the north and southern species from the Mediterranean and uh, from the Bay of Biscay, things like uh, the clingfish. So we'll put him back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, these are spider crabs now. They've come in short of boat, not about the uh, end of May. Now, they look like dead crabs, but they're not. They've shed their uh, their old shell, and they're uh, out there somewhere hiding, growing a new shell, and they're quite soft. So they're here in their thousands. Look behind you, David. There's a uh, two years old. 
See, they, they look as if they're live, but in fact, they're all empty. It's, a, it's an old shell. What's on this one? Oh, yeah, okay. But, uh, the sea cucumber there. And a little uh, scallop. And all, all these little holes now have been done by uh, various organisms like uh, pitted shells. And because this is limestone, uh, lots of organisms live inside that. There's sponges and sea squirts. But uh, what's important is to uh, put the stone back. We got there. Yeah, velvet swimming club. Swimming because it's got the uh, paddles on its back legs. We put that back. You're not big enough to eat, really. Yeah. Looking flat stone now with the uh, get weed on it, edible seaweed, and lots of sponges on the top. There's clips, the bread crumb sponges there, there, and there. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, there we are. A couple of things. Two lovely little things here now. These are small spider crabs. And you can see that they're um, uh, covering themselves with sponges. Or camouflage, sometimes they get different colour sponges on them as well. So we'll put those uh, back here now, out of the way. And another little look we've got, we've got the old pikeress crab again. We'll put him back there as well. And underneath, we've got a juvenile. Show crab. There it is. They live in the shallows in the along the coast for protection. Once they get bigger, they can fend for themselves and they go back out into the deep water. Okay. There. There. Right, little uh, show goby we caught now. Um, under that rock below us. Same time we had a little uh, macrophobia crab. So you can it is like triangular shaped carapace, and we we'll just throw the, uh, the fish back where he was. Just to explain a bit about this now. This one covers itself like the last ones with sponges, but on its front legs there, you can see it started to grow some seaweeds on it. Uh, very nice little things. So we we'll put it back. Back where we had it. This stone up, you can see uh, some nice limpets on the top. Underneath, what's there? Uh, see the little uh, porcelain crabs going about. There's a little bristle star there. And uh, just in the bottom there, we've got something that's called a bootlace worm. This is one of the longest organisms in the world. Sometimes these can grow to about over 50 meters long. Strange little things. We'll, we'll put it back. This is a stone up now and I've come across a worm which I uh, have not seen before. I'll have to uh, identify it uh, when I get home. It's, uh, bit like a bootless worm and uh, it's a, quite a long thing I've never come across this type before it's uh, unlike a bootless worm it's segmented you can see it moving it must be about uh, half a meter long I suppose that way I reckon it's a strange little thing right me and David have lifted this large stone up now and a few things under it. Uh, in there, a little periwinkle shell with a uh, hermit crab. Another bootless worm. And yet another bootless worm. And the sea cucumber, which is a member of the uh, starfish family. It grasps uh, 
organs in from the water column with his tentacles like that they come down now and there's a beautiful coloured shore urchin I'll just take it off now to show you it's green lovely purple tips to its spines and for protection and camouflage it tends to cover itself um, with little stones and seaweeds uh, that's this is quite a big sea urchin that's about as big as they get and I don't think I've seen many bigger than that I'll put it back in the water before putting the stone back and we've got things then like sting wrinkles and you can see on there little crabs like uh, tiny broad clawed porcelain crabs and there's a few uh, sponges some sea squirts another sting wrinkle and the uh, thing is uh, I'm always amazed by what you find there and uh, and the stones like this to me it's like doing a scratch card you buy a scratch card scratch it off and you never know whether you win or not right just down here having a look uh, see if we can get under these little rocks now i'm going to get some prawns and uh, whatever else we can find and what have we got in there oh, well look at that plenty of prawns and uh, lots of little uh, baby pollock so what we'll do, we'll uh, put the baby pollock back and uh, and, uh, and keep, obviously keep the prawns. And across this uh, patch of uh, bladder rack now, bladder rack because it's uh, got these little bladders and uh, they fill of air. When tide comes in, they float and they get more access to the to daylight. Now underneath them, you can see. There's a special species of periwinkle called a flat periwinkle, nice yellow colour. They come in greens, browns, uh, sometimes a little bit blue. They feed on the algae that live, on, not the seaweed itself, but the algae that live on the seaweed. So we put them back. I can see another one over there, David. And we've got some other, other ones there, just slightly different colour. If we lift the seaweed up, See them different colours again. See the browns. You jump, did you? You pick it up and put it back in the water over there. Okay. Yeah. Put him in the water. You have a swim now. See? There you go. <laughs> see? You swimming in the water there? Yeah. 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 Hide, hide. 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 And we've got this fishy bit here now. Fishy? This fishy? I'm yeah. hold it, I'm gonna hold it. Careful, right? Hold, 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 hold it like that. Two hands. Two hands. Yeah. There we are. Put it in the so, water. Put, put him in the water, yeah. That's a shiny that fish is. Mm -hmm. See him going in there? Oh. Yeah, he's going in there. Like <laughs> him? Yeah. Yeah, we catch him again. Yeah, let's yeah. catch him again. There he is, look. Put him back there. <laughs> I don't like it pretty purple crabs, do you? No. Right, I don't okay. like crabs. Like the fish, do you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. He's nice, isn't he? He's nice. Yeah. Put him back in the water then. No. Yeah, you have to. He doesn't like to be out the water. There we are. See, he's going to hide, huh? Right there. Right? There he is. See? And we've got more crabs now. Brown crab, yeah. huh? Yeah. Put him back in the water no. as well, okay? And we got the little starfish. Oh. Yeah. See? starfish? Co common starfish. See? Where's the eyes? They haven't got eyes. Yeah. See? He's, he's lost two of his legs and he's growing back two small ones. See? If you turn him over, you see his, see his mouth then. See? That's his mouth over there. Okay. Come on. Okay. There we are. Yeah. So, what do you want to see there? Do you want to see this nice purple crab? Yeah. Don't yeah. like those. Do you like those, yeah? Yeah. Which one? Put 
the starfish back with it. So what's your favourite? Um, the fish. Which fish do you like? This one. Catch him, man. I'm going to hold him. I'm going to catch him. Yeah. Put him under there, see? Hold him again. Ah, there he is. Yes, I'll hold it. See, pretty, isn't he? Two hands. Two hands, good girl. Two hands. Two hands, right. Like him. Stroke him, nice. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like him? Yeah. Yeah. He likes it. Yeah. No. Put him back and see the other fish then? No. Which is your favourite? Yeah. This one or that one? This one. That one, right? That one, right? Yeah. Hey, are they good? Yeah. Yeah, are they nice? <laughs> there we are. There we are. You put him back in the water then, is it? Let's see him here. Yeah. Yeah. No, more than that, okay. okay. More. Yeah. Yeah. Right, there we are. Put him in there. There we are. There goes. There goes. The stove now. What I've done, I've uh, put kitchen roll in the bottom to act as a wick. Some fire lighters around it. I've cut in three slots with a chainsaw. And I'm just going to put in some kerosene now. Soak into the, into the kitchen roll. And uh, here we go. It's dry wood and that'll take about uh, 10 minutes to uh, burn so it's ready to cook on. What are you doing? Garlic now. Mommy. 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 Different from uh, short bought garlic. Get the ends off. prawns now if we just uh, got to slow down there now so uh, we'll uh, put it there for now and use some of the prawns didn't catch those on the beach I caught these yesterday in a different beach but they're still nice delicious wild caught prawns Very different from shrimps. Our shrimps are much smaller and they're browner and they're known as Krangon Krangon. Well, these are called Palmeon serratus. They're called Palmeon serratus because they've got this horn in the front 
with a serrated uh, beak so it feels nice and uh, smooth that way and if so the idea is if small fish goes to eat it it'll spit it out because it's caught on those so we'll cook those later what I've done as well I brought with me some as a garnish some sea lavender some lovely fresh samphire and this rice now has been uh, cooked in uh, chicken stock and prawn stock uh, it's been cooked with uh, rose hips as you can see through it all oops <laughs> you don't get much fresher fish than that <laughs> have to uh, clean them up and the bits of uh, samphire in there as well and we're going to use uh, this as a garnish as well, but eat it. This is honeysuckle berries and it's uh, my take on surf and turf uh, because the rose hips and the uh, honeysuckle are from trees, so I'm going to call it uh, sea and tree. Right, got cooking now, got uh, the chopped garlic in there, put it on, and we're going to put in a fair amount of butter because I like it. <laughs> We're going to fry that up for a bit. And when it's uh, melted, which won't be long, we're going to put our prawns in to, uh, to fry. Right, okay. The uh, butter and the wild garlic is uh, got to sizzle away. Put in the, the prawns now. Oops. Sand of it. Just uh, mix them all up in there. A nice garlic flavour. Wow. It only take uh, you know a couple of minutes to, to cook through and absorb all the flavours of the garlic and the butter. I love them. The cones are almost done now. So I'm just going to put in some nice samphire, stir that through. Yeah, just leave that for say just another minute and that's done then. Okay, just put in some raw chips now. Nice citrusy, citrusy flavour on uh, these raw chips. Careful not to put the, uh, the pips in because they're hairy and not very nice. In there, some white. A little bit. Make it look a bit nicer and it'll be sweet citrusy taste, like I said. Right, so I'm going to put in now the previously cooked rice and it's cooked with uh, chicken stock prawn stock, uh, marsh samphire and some rose hips. I'm going to warm this through. Give it a bit of a warm. Stir in some of these small prawns I did earlier. Okay, and there we are, it's done. garlic prawns on the top excuse my fingers and, uh, put some of the cooked samphire on the top some 
bullseps. Bullseps there, a bit of garnish now, which is the um, sea lavender. There's the honeysuckle berries to finish it off. And there you go. Nice meal of uh, forage prawns, foraged uh, marsh samphire, rosehips, sea lavender. You've got the rice which has been cooked with rosehips, chicken stock, and marsh samphire. There we are. So we'll enjoy that now. So come back. So come back. Yeah. Well, this is our fruits of our labour today. I'm sales help as well. And uh, we've had a, a really good day. We will dish it up in a bit and uh, we'll see what it tastes like. You get to eat. You get to eat the rice. Yeah. David having his share now, didn't he? We have a share. Kaylin. Kaylin. Yeah, okay, so this is our meal now. Let's taste it. Mm. Very, very nice. Garlic still crunchy. The prawns are nice. That's got a bit of crisp. And, uh, mm. Delicious. So, um, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and uh, see you next time.